luck is gone my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way Today we find ourselves in Animal Kingdom, getting ready to explore Pandora, the world of Avatar. We're gonna check it out during the daylight and try to get some cool shots at night because it turns all bioluminescent. Is that how you say it? Bioluminescent. It's kind of like glow in the dark with some pretty colors, so it should be really neat. Let's go check out this awesome world. <laughs> There's so much to see here. This is one of Jessica's favorite places to hang out in all of the Disney parks, especially here at Animal Kingdom. Usually, if you come up to this thing here, this pod, everything here is massive. It's so incredible. You can see it a lot better at nighttime, but... Usually, it spits water. It'll spit water on unsuspecting guests over there, but it's dry today. You can hear it. All this crazy attention to detail. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be like sapling because they're really hot. So this is a slush right here. It's his insides. Wow! That's cool. Yeah. The thing that I find really cool about this is that the story continues. This is not the Pandora that you remember from the last film. The story goes on. So right now we are approximately a hundred years or so past that point where all of the life of Pandora has now taken over the old barracks from the previous movie. So a further example of what we mean by the land is being taken over again is some of these compounds. This used to be all walls, all compound, and you can see that it's deteriorated and overgrown by nature. Nature is taking back what the previous company did to Pandora. This place is so immersive that every time you come here, it's you see something completely different. Jessica just pointed out that right in about the center of your screen, hidden very, very, very well, mind you, is a helicopter. And the blades are right there. Helicopter. That's crazy. Absolutely beautiful here. All these little places like this, it's beautiful to look at. And I keep saying beautiful all the time. Look, oh, look, there's somebody beautiful right there. But at nighttime, it all glows. So the big one, flight of passage, the standby time is 160 minutes. It's crazy. Fast pass line is right there. We have a fast pass, of course, and we're going to go ride flight of passage. It's an amazing ride. The cool thing about getting to do a fast pass here is that you go directly into the mountains.
fast line and the average standby line are a lot different. So depending on which line you get in, if you're lucky enough to have a fast pass, you're gonna have a completely different experience. The other line, the standby line, it actually, you can tell that everything's been more overgrown than this. This is kind of like the, the, the side entrance, the cool entrance. You need to get a fast pass if you're gonna ride Flight of Passage. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you. I'm gonna to try to show you as much as I possibly can of this ride. A certain area that's a little tricky, but we're gonna to try to work some magic. Can everyone see me? Yeah. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi ride of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. Alright everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. Uh, you've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry. Uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stand still over your number. You're not going to feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. They're all clear. Great. Now let's go over how all this works. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. She leads her science team, which is part of the Pandora Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Na'vi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Dr. Ogden is the foremost expert on studying the Ikron and has spent years researching them. Unfortunately, banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch. But the Na'vi and avatars can. In fact, the Na'vi have been riding on the backs of banshees since their earliest history. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. That's why you're linking to an avatar. Okay. To get you flying on a banshee, we need to find each of you an avatar. Um, let's uh, prep the genetic sampling. I'm on it. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. <laughs> Help us out and move around a bit. Almost. Yes, got him. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. Emergency. All right, you've all been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room.
please step up the link chair, gather your belongings, and exit the link chamber. All right, so that was amazing. That's always amazing. We love riding this ride. It always feels a little bit different. Have you rode this? If you're watching this, yeah, have you rode it? Or do you really want to ride it? You need to come to Animal Kingdom. It'll blow you away. So it's time for lunch, and usually whenever we're here, we like to stop inside the Satuli Canteen. It's probably one of the most tastiest places to eat in all the Disney parks. Again, with anything Disney related, it's pretty quite immersive. There's indoor seating as well as outdoor seating. And basically it is a military barracks, I guess you would say, that's been taken over, that's also been taken over. Let's take a look at the menu. It's so pretty in here. This is one of your favorite places to eat. Oh, looking up. So very cool. Right as you walk in, if you take the time, you can actually see them cooking over here behind one of the glasses. It's actually really neat, but the menu here, one of the things that you can get is a create your own satuli bowl. It's a pretty health, very friendly thing. They do have a allergy menu as well, don't they? It's a big allergy menu. Um, also, you can get someone like, you know, there's kids meals and on the back side there's different burgers. They have drinks. They have the Navi flute cup if you are into collecting certain things. So we have that, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Beer, wine, beverages, all the typical stuff that you can find. Although this restaurant is very unique. Usually whenever we get here, our go-to food is the cheeseburger bao bun which Jessica is trying right now. Basically, it's just a cheeseburger inside a bun. It's very, very, very flavorful. We also choose to go with the rice bowl. We choose the chicken and the beef. It has a very good, very good flavor, and what helps is these three different flavors, these sauces right here. I think usually only comes with one, but we like all three, so we get all three. You know, they're, they're these different flavors, and the bowl is a bowl here, bone bowl. So we got rice and beans, chicken and beef. No lids whatsoever. They're very, very friendly here with their animals. One of the favorite things that we like to do here is we like to go inside Wind Traders, which is the store where you can get all kinds of different things here. But Jessica collects Navi language cards, and we're going to show you what that is. Alright, so the Avatar cards is one of your obsessions here. Yeah. Tell us, what exactly is the Avatar language card? If you're a collector of cards, I would say these are a definite to have. Um, this is what they look like. They come in different colors because different colors mean different things, but basically, they're language cards. Rise to the challenge means see back hole. Glowworm. I can't say it. <laughs> That's a good uh, pronunciation for that. Chase, the white. Shark, latex, clip, pocket. And, and so on and forth. There's words for words, no, dire horse, species, shy is nim, spear, tokoru, and it goes on and on. So There's close to 100 cards or something like that, right? You can purchase the basic set, which is 1 through 90, and you can buy them in packs, um, and you can also get a little device that will translate them for you. It speaks to you when you put a card in, and I'll show you that here in a second. And um, there are a set of, I believe, 12 that you can only get from cast members here in the Avatar section of uh, Animal Kingdom. I'm sorry, Pandora. <laughs> And then there's one very special card that you cannot get in the parks. It was a D23 exclusive. And I have it at home. I don't have it with me to show you while we're here because it's my prize baby. Um, so total, that makes it, I believe, 103 cards total. This is the Navi Translator. 
when you take these cards and put it into the machine and then press a button, it will translate the word for you to help you learn the language. I didn't bring mine today because I brought a small purse, but it's really fun to use. They are very cool. So I'm going to be honest, I like the movie Avatar. I do not love the movie Avatar. I mean, I don't go too crazy over this, but Jessica, on the other hand, she loves it. She loves coming here. She's always asking, can we please go to Animal Kingdom? She got this Navi. This is actually behind the case. It's pretty amazing. And if you want to, you can even get one of your very own Ekrons. They're like little puppets. They sit on your shoulder and you can control them. Like this little guy right there. Not one for making beaded necklaces, but this is a very cool setup that they got going on. And for $19.99, you can make your very own Avatar necklace. Light up souvenir is wood sprites. These are new, aren't they? So the package calls it a wood sprite, but you'll remember in the movie, these were called um, spirit sprites, I believe it was, um, because they were a sign from Awa, their deity. Very cool. Basically, they're alien jellyfish. I had to say it. In the air. In the air. Air, air jellyfish. And for all you kids who love the stuffies, the stuffed animals, like Jessica here, they have a selection just for you. It looks like an avatar of My Little Pony. It does. Yeah. It says plush horse. It is. Well, this is what is star. that? That's his little antenna. Antennae. It's, right up. it's bioluminescent. This is what lights up at night. And then this guy is the Thanator. That's cool. He's the little like wolf like character. That's the one that we see in the uh, Navi River, yeah. right? That's they're like, walking like soon it, it, it comes down. Oh no. No, I'm sorry, this is a viper wolf. So this is the one that chases um, Jack Sully when he goes on his first mission. That's what causes him to get lost and eventually meets the Navi. Ah, uh, see, it's been so long since we have seen this movie. Oh, I nerd. <laughs> you are a nerd. And we have it on 3D, so we're going to have to watch it again. And here's the little monkeys. They're like little flies. There was monkeys in the movie? Yes, yes. Why don't I remember this? See, look. They have wings, but they kind of fly. They jump tree to tree. They're like a monkey and a flying squirrel. Huh. And of course, if you forget the banshee. Right. Got them in three colors here. You've got purple. Turquoise and blue. Doesn't want a baby not What's this small. thing? That's the um you see these around the giant uh, flowers that pop up and he goes and he starts touching them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not really a character meet or a show, but they do have a cast member that comes out in one of the giant mech suits from the movie. He comes out, does a tutorial, answers some questions, puts on a little bit of a show, you have pictures with him. Should be coming out any moment now. I'm actually one of the new pilots here, and uh, I was under the impression this place was sort of be clear. I had a few tests to run for my maiden voyage, my first solo run. So, uh, you guys, what am I doing me a favor? Picking up your belongings, taking small children by the hands, and going and enjoying the rest of Pandora. Bye! You follow me? Nobody's, nobody's leaving. Right now, the standby line for Navi River Journey is 105 minutes. It's actually not that bad, but we do have a fast pass, so we're gonna go ride that right now.
The sun is starting to go down. It's getting a little dark. We've shown you Pandora during the day. Here's Pandora at night. Never stays a day. A battle's always. 